Three years ago, Jamaica has always been in the back of my mind because it was the one country in which the potential and the talent is here. And there is such a lot to do. What I've seen over the last two years is unbelievable development. And that's credit to, to Mr. President and Mr. Chung and, and Mr. Speed. Everything about uh, heritage players, bringing them on board, has really, in the last two years, um, the committee, uh, the staff, the coaches, and the previous coach, I believe, have done a great job. Steve McLaren officially unveiled as Reggae Boys head coach. Join Premier 7 right now for the special welcome. Don't worry when you are not recognized, but strive to be worthy of recognition. This is an amazing quote that was being written by Abraham Lincoln. And this particular quote points directly at our new appointed coach in Steve McLaren. Of course, I just want to say thank you so much for joining up with Premier 7 in this short and special video surrounding the welcome of Jamaica's newly appointed coach in Steve McLaren. But before I go more into details surrounding this video, special appreciation has to be extended to the fan base of the channel. In a few days, I have done a video surrounding Steve McLaren, but by extension, Mason Greenwood. And the topic was, can Steve McLaren triggers Mason Greenwood recruitment into the Jamaica men's national team? I have to say massive, massive respect and appreciation to the fan base. I have received in excess of 800 views on the video, 27 likes, and 13 comments. People, the channel is growing, and it is all because of you who have been supporting. Down below the screen, you can see that I have 1,505 subscribers. Of course, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe, watch the videos, like the videos here on the channel and of course share them with other persons so that youtube can give this channel some more recognition and if you are already a supporter you know what to do now i just want to just say welcome on board mr steve mclaren to jamaica this task will come with some challenges this task is not going to be the same as the past However, for you, Mr. McLaren, this has to be a stepping stone for you where your international career is concerned. And the thing is, I just want to say that because the press conference that was being held on the 8th of August 2024 was heartfelt. And we don't want to be strayed away by just that one day of good talks. But we want for this to be something that will continue. It will not be a walk in the park, based on my assumption. But the baton was handed over from Coach Hamer Al Grimson to Steve McLaren, who said that, you know, Coach Hamer Al Grimson basically handed over to him with the hope that, you know, he wants for him to put Jamaica into a better position, and that is the aim and the direction that Mr. McLaren wants to go into. I have to say, um, I have more confidence than doubts surrounding Mr. McLaren because before his appointment, there was some question marks based on his statistical evidence surrounding his managerial career at the local level where clubs are concerned and at the international level. 
But I just want to say, we don't want to use the past to judge him, even though you have to make assessments. But the reason why is because when you watch players being relegated in some clubs, you cannot just say they are not good enough. Because I can just use maybe a one name in a Roy Keane when he was relegated with his team in the Premier League. Manchester United went on to purchase him and he became one of the greatest central defensive midfielder of all time in the Premier League. I don't want to be saying here that I am using this to defend Mr. Steve McLaren, but I'm just revealing to you the people who understand or want to understand football better to not throw persons aside, but once they're given an opportunity, don't bash them. Once it is for the betterment of themselves in wanting to contribute to the lives of other persons, give them the support and the credit and the push where as they would deserve. Um, I have to say massive, massive respect again to you, the people, because I used to use the word English reject. And, you know, I have received some, I won't say bashing, but some words from my fan base saying that, you know, you should stop call these persons England reject. And for me, it is for the betterment of the channel, the betterment of my personal life, and of course, lead by example for other persons to admire. I mean, for Steve McLaren, it is a heartfelt welcome because what I realize is that he knows, let's say the committee, the member of staffs, the Rudolf Speed, our president, and a few more persons to say. So you remember he was that person who was basically analyzing or providing standards that Jamaica should follow from the 20 teams that he was given the task to instruct and to help guide in terms of FIFA standards. And he said that that was a job that he has been doing. And he basically have that spot in his heart for Jamaica to say that Jamaica has a lot of talents. And it was in his back of his mind that one day he would like to be here as our coach. So it is a time for which he was given the opportunity. Let us all support him. Hopefully he receives some further assistance regarding to staffs on board. And, you know, let it be a good run for him for the two years because the mission the big, big mission is for us to book our spot in the FIFA World Cup of 2026. So people, I have to say, do you know what is your thought on the topic? Steve McLaren officially unveiled as Reggae Boys head coach. The special welcome. Of course, it is for you to drop your comment and Premier 7 will always reply once available. So you will take care until we meet again. Bye-bye for now.